Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina ADC. We're going to do a quick little video on the new magazines from KCI. And these are made in Korea, which uh, most of the products are made in Korea. But they came out with a new version of their AR platform magazines. They do have uh, reinforcement steel on the lips here. And of course, you still got your polymer uh, base plate here. And I think that's pretty much it. Just reinforced lips here. So we're going to test that out and just like i do any magazine video we're going to drop it see how many rounds if it cracks or anything this is fully loaded here i'm on gravel here so that'll be a hard surface to drop on i'm only five five so yeah i'm a short guy but we're going to drop it on the base on the lip shoot it see if it still works we're going to put in some mud here and of course we're going to run over it with my vehicle all right let's go ahead and begin like I said, check out KCI. I can't remember how much this go for, but they're very inexpensive. And uh, yeah, we're gonna test it out. All right, let's begin. <coughs> All right, so I'm five five, so not very tall. We're gonna drop it on the base first. All right, no rounds popped out. Everything seems to be fine. Base plate still long. All right, let's drop it on the lips. One round popped out. And I do not see anything break, just scuffed up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead, run it here right quick, a few rounds. And uh, see if it functions. All right. All right, here we go. Oh. All right, here we go. Malfunction, I don't know if you can see that. Failure to feed on the third round. That's lined up pretty good in there. Unlock it to the back. Drop the mag. Huh, and the round stayed there. All right, let's uh, drop it and shoot it right quick. All right. All right, we're clear. All right, so one more function. Let's go ahead and run it again. All right, here we go. All right, no issues. Let's go ahead and clear the weapon. All right, huh. All right here comes the fun part. <laughs> Let's throw some mud. It just got done raining, so it's muddy. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Try and find the deepest part here, or semi-deep. Ooh, that is muddy. There we go. Ooh, that is nasty. All right, I think that's long enough. Let's go ahead and take it out, rinse it off. The mud off at least. <laughs> Whew. All right, this could be a messy. All right, and this will test this uh, PSA Saber line rifle. All right, here we go. Oh, yep. Failure to feed again. Let's uh, lock the bolt to the back, drop the mag, and that round stayed in there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, drop the bolt first before I put the mag in. All right, here we go. All right, now round stayed in there, so I didn't inject it. So let's go ahead and shoot it, see if it falls function again. All right, it works. Seems like. Uh, Let's go ahead and shoot the rest though, just to make sure. There we go. Ah, locked open. All right. Let's uh, load up a few more rounds, put it on this gravel, and run over with the vehicle. Stand by. 
All right, guys, so now we're going to run over it. I only loaded up to 20 rounds. If I had mentioned, they do have numbers on the side right here where you can see how many rounds you got in there. But I only loaded 20 rounds just to see how well it holds up. Got my rifle here on the side. Put in the front tire, run over it, and then test it out. All right, here we go. All right. Hopefully it don't break. <laughs> here we go. Uh-huh. Do it one more time. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. We ran over about two or three times. More like four times. All right, so far so good. Nothing is cracked, just dirty. The lips look, seem to be fine. All right, let's try it out. All right. 20 rounds. And it locked open. So there you go, KCI, how to my functions, why when I dropped it on the third round and when I put it in the mud, muddy water, whatever, it was what, the second round, did not chamber, but after that, it functioned, uh, so yeah, take with what it is, um, I had other magazines do a little bit better, but other than that, not bad magazines, you can use it for training. Uh, whatever else you need to but you know very affordable and they're always coming out with great uh, stuff they have some AR max they have um, Glock max drums stuff like that I don't know if they're still making drums but they used to make drums uh, but check the website I uh, appreciate KCI for let me try to abuse one of the magazines uh, I will continue using it again for the range uh, you know make drills whatever it may be Everybody has the favorite when it comes to magazines, but it all depends who you go for. Uh, you know, MacPool is one of the very populars, but uh, they can be expensive, um, you know. But you can never have too many magazines, uh, depending on what AR. Some ARs may take it, some are not, but this one uh, seems to work fine. Locks in, drops, just fine. All right, guys, quick little video. I appreciate KCI for letting me test out their magazines, hopefully more from those guys uh, in the future but if you're new to the channel guys make sure to hit the like button subscribe like share really helps me out uh there's the things join button whichever you can donate that well you don't have to but the thumbs up helps a lot and as well subscribe check out the links down below discount codes saves you money help me out also follow me on social media like instagram facebook tiktok whatever it may be i'm at <laughs> just pretty much google me i'm pretty much everywhere but my main one is Instagram, where I'm always active, showing uh, deals, uh, post products like this or anything like that on the channel to kind of give you a heads up what's coming up on the channel as far as kind of give you a sneak peek while I'm working out for a review. But make sure to turn notification bells on the channel as well because I'm posting two to three videos every week. And yeah, all right guys, as usual, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.